Welcome to After Hours Engineering, Episode 5. We now have a good overview of the RISC-V instruction set, the base integer instruction set. So let's step back and take a look at the high-level overview of what we're working on. Processors are pretty much just fancy state machines, and the RISC-V is no exception. Our goal is to build a soft core processor, or more specifically, a RISC-V variant of it. As mentioned prior, our processor is a multi-cycle approach, and that means that every instruction will take way more than one instruction cycle, some up to six or seven. And again, that was done to stress the setup and hold times as the data moves around on the path, which means that even the no-op instruction takes more than one instruction cycle. We'll start by looking at our environment and then narrowing it down into the soft core processor itself. So let's go. Here's our environment, some of which you've already seen and some yet to be built. For example, you've seen the test bench. You've seen the simulator headers, portions of the HDL itself. Uh, you've seen some GTK wave, and definitely we've seen the ISA. The two new items are the console, which is yet to be written or coded and designed, the assumption, though, is that it is a simulator running in a for loop where we monitor keyboard input while controlling the simulation. And the assembler is a basic one-line assembler. You give it a JSON file, and out pops a machine code, a single line or a single word of machine code. And finally, there's Ranger Risk, represented as HDL, which is essentially split into two halves the control matrix, and the components themselves. At the center is the control matrix in the form of a mealy state machine, a combinational part and a synchronous part. The top determines what the next state is, and the bottom determines when the next state happens, and in this case, it happens on the rising edge of the clock. The other half are the components themselves, whose process happens on the opposite edge of the clock, the falling edge of the clock. This means that the control matrix sets up the signals on the rising edge and the components process them on the negative edge. And that's what we see down here. We do a setup in the control matrix and we process it on the falling edge, then set up and process. And we repeat that over and over again. Looking further at the control matrix, we can tell where the instructions manifest themselves. They all start coming to life in this section of the matrix. We have our fetch, the decode, and the execute. This is what all processors do, some more complex, some simplistic like this one. And they go round in a circle, fetching, decoding, and executing the sequence of states. The states themselves are controlled by the synchronous portion of the matrix, which is on the rising edge of the clock. We move from one state to the next state, one instruction to the next instruction state. All this happens within the matrix itself on the rising end of the clock. All the signals are then assigned and they come out and they go over to the components themselves of which as mentioned before, they all operate on the falling edge of the clock. We may be loading or setting the arithmetic on the ALU or controlling which immediate to use, loading any particular register or even a register file, or accessing uh, memory, loading and storing. And again, as mentioned, the control matrix will set up all of the signals that load or set any of the components and then the components themselves will react to it on the falling edge. So we go around in a circle setting our states, they get over to the components, they manipulate the components, and then they begin processing. That's the RISC-V processor as we built it, as a multi-cycle processor. So there you go. That's the environment in a nutshell. With all things considered, I think we're in a good position to start building our RISC-V processor. And in the next episode, we'll look at all the modules except the control matrix, as that's the big one, that support the construction of the processor itself. So until next time, peace.